Hi. Right. <laughs> Put that up. I was like in deep thought or, you know, just thinking about things I think about. And this came up. We tend to treat non-physical things with physical things. Like, uh, it's, it's hard and it's going to be touchy for some people, but it's hard to treat depression, a non-physical thing with pills. Uh, that makes you dependent on the medicine. Uh, a lot of people don't get better. I know this is a conspiracy theory. Like there, there is a cure for cancer, but no one knows about it because uh, if you have a cure for a disease or a uh, ailment, then you won't be dependent on the medicine. And what we try to do. We try to take spiritual things and treat it with physical things, non-spiritual things. I do that a lot. And it's not good. But since I've been shown that, though, say, if you're depressed, you know, we... Some people, people handle depression in different ways. Some negative ways and some positive ways. Sometimes uh, in a negative way, this could be a negative where you, you have a situation. Uh, say like my brother passed away. <clears throat> this has been two years. People handle it in different ways. Uh, during Christmas, I didn't want to talk to anybody. And it was, it wasn't, you know, a bad thing. If you called, I was like, hey, you know, I was happy. But I didn't, I didn't want to talk to anybody. Except my mom. Um, in a negative way, I could have, you know, people deal with it by drinking, um, doing drugs or something to, to, to ease that pain. But you're taking a physical treatment for a non-physical thing going on on the inside of you. We handle stress differently. Some people can do natural remedies for stress like uh, strawberries or that has uh, properties to it but some people can just you know take it out on other people you know you, you say the simplest thing and oof. I remember uh, I had a friend who was looking for a divorce from their spouse. Why? Because they would not wash the dishes and they didn't think it was fair. So you're going to throw away about three, four years of marriage because they don't do the dishes. There's a underlying thing there that you know, if they started doing the dishes, I don't think the marriage would still be, you know, it would just magically start being better. There's something else going on there. You can't just treat that physical labor. OK, I'm going to do the dishes because she wants me to. With and we're going to be a lot better now. It's not going to work. Why do I say that? Because it's not going to work. You haven't treated the real problem. The real problem, the real issue is probably somewhere in the lines of respect, uh, communication, um, you know, being equally yoked, knowing your role. <clears throat> uh, 
in the area where you know the area processes aspirations roles expectations and appreciation when there's a link that's i mean there's a broken link in the chain the whole chain is weak it's not going to hold together something can come along and snap it but when everything is there you 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 have a better chance when you know how to deal if you know what the symptoms are i mean if you know what the problem is you can treat the symptoms more easily but you know today in today's practice in today's society we always treat the symptoms uh um, <laughs> something is just thought of, uh, I always tell my kids, you know, that they're coughing up, <laughs> spit it out, spit it out. Your body is trying to expel something, the mucus and everything that is trapped, is trapped the bacteria or the, the, the germs and it is got it and it's trying to get it out of you. The fever comes because your body is trying to cook, cook that stuff out of it, trying to kill it. But what we do, take cough medicine, you know, just suppress it. And eventually, a lot of times it does work because the body is going to heal itself. It's, it's working. It's going to work itself out. We were designed to heal. Uh, but... Like I said, when we just treat it, if we don't get it out, it just grows on the inside of us. Sometimes it lasts longer than it needed to be. So that's my thought for today. Uh, find out what the problem is. Really think about what is the underlying issue. If you have something What's wrong with somebody communicate openly where what is the real problem because once you can get to that the the lowest common denominator and deal with it everything else seems so much easier yeah let's let's do that let's let's find out what our problems are because you know what uh yeah like from the very beginning of the first thought which is the things that you declare your your intent's going to be tested <clears throat> and we're going to have problems but once you uh, some of the problems that we do face are kind of like attention it shifts our attention from what the real problem is you know I'm dealing with this spiritually, but physically, I got this, 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 this stuff going on, which I'm trying to take care of all these things. But all along, what's causing this, the inflammation and everything is the stress that I'm dealing with over here. That's causing me to have, you know, low energy and, and uh, you know, uh, getting sick, no sleep, all these things right here is because of stress I'm dealing with or the stress I'm not dealing with. So there's an everyday cycle of me fighting these things when all along the problem is here. So treat the things that need to be treated. Yeah, you still got to deal with these things, but if you take care of the root cause, this stuff will come naturally or a lot easier to deal with. So, love you.